Hey my loves, happy Monday, fresh week. I hope you guys are feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling optimistic. I hope you're looking forward to the week. Summer is right around the corner and it's definitely uh, showing where I live. It's been in the 90s. It, it's quite, it's, it's in the 80s today, so it's a little bit cooler than it has been, but I definitely feel summer coming. And when I tell you that I'm not a summer or spring person, I mean it. <laughs> I personally like fall and winter. I don't really do well in the heat, but uh, sometimes a good summer activity or summer vibe is fun. But uh, yeah, I'm already just waiting for it to get cold again, to be honest. I hope you guys are doing really well though. I'm glad that you have been enjoying the last few episodes. It means the world to me. It really does. I know that we've been covering a lot of controversial topics and yeah, I don't know. I was a little bit nervous uploading this type of stuff at first, but it's like I said in the last one, it's life. Not everyone lives this like pristine, straight edge like lifestyle. So <laughs> yeah, thank you for all your sweet comments. Thank you for letting me know that you're enjoying it. I'm super excited to film today. I have a watermelon joy burst. I've talked about these before on my channel, but they're just like little hydration drinks. I got them at Costco back then and then they stopped selling them. And then I went grocery shopping yesterday and they had them again and I was so stoked. I hopped on it so fast, <laughs> but uh, cheers guys. Thanks for being here with me today. Yep, thanks for being with me here today. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Oh, also before we get into it, I wanted to tell you guys on my main channel that I did create another YouTube channel for my uh, Twitch VODs. So I'll be uploading the full stream on that channel in case you guys are interested, if you ever want to like rewatch a stream or whatever. Um, I'm be I'll be uploading my career legacy videos on that channel now. And uh, yeah, it's like full, it's the full stream though, so they're like three hours long, but on Twitch, they get rid of your VODs um, after 90 days and they're just gone forever. Like I can't even access them. So I figured uploading them to YouTube, uh, I would like hold on to those memories and you guys would have access to that content forever. So yeah, I'll link it in the description. It's just SimSav Streams, very straightforward. <laughs> but if you would like to go and subscribe to that channel, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs um, over there. So it would mean the world to me if you support it over there as well all right enough of that <laughs> i always get so shy when i like try to promote other stuff i don't know it's just i don't know anyway so here we are back in the compost household it is the fifth day of summer today quite nice weather uh, actually, I take that back. It's a heat wave. <laughs> Ren is at work. In the last episode, we did get, get her a new career. Uh, she transitioned from lawyer to the detective career and she started at level four. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just doing that now. Um, we're kind of doing like a super sim kind of thing with Ren, maxing careers, maxing aspirations, maxing skills. Um, she is going to supply a lot of the points that we're going to get for this challenge. So <laughs> pretty stoked for that. Sarah is currently at school. Uh, she is sad because she, yeah, that's right. Freddie passed away in the last episode. Freddie is her mom's dad. So we need to go over there. We need to visit and just check on them. Evangeline's also feeling really sad about it. She's gloomy. Um, but other than that, like she feels pretty good. And then Edison, what are you doing? He's just sitting and eating an omelet. All right, cool. <laughs> He's also quite sad about the death as well. Um, Let's look at the calendar and see what we got going on. So, um, let's see. Tomorrow's July 4th. And then we've got, I'm just gonna remove Neighborhood Brawl from my calendar because like I honestly hate that uh, <laughs> holiday. Um, and then let's see, we've got Air Day coming up and then we've got Halloween coming up as well. Wow, okay. And then, yep, all the other, I'm still debating if I should change my seasons from whatever, it, like a week to whatever the, the highest one is. I think it's 28 day seasons or something like that. I'm still debating if I should do that because I feel like holidays just come and go so quickly. We also have a horse now. 
I still need to rename her Dolly, but that's gonna be her name after Dolly Parton. Um, it is aged up now, so it's an adult horse, and we kind of went horse riding a little bit at the end of the last, what the hell's happening over here? <laughs> Why do Sims feel the need to litter so much around here? Um, be cool to, anyways. So yeah, we're just gonna be working on our horse riding skill. I really wanna max that for Sarah and then start entering competitions and uh, yeah, just kind of really focus on that. Also, a lot of you guys <laughs> really want her to uh, be with Noah, that one guy that she met at school the other day. Um, the bald one, where's he at? But anyway, the last thing we have to do for her aspiration is break up with a sim. So, oh, and have an enemy rival, which you guys mentioned that we have to stay in school for that. So I'm probably, if we do drop out, I'm probably not going to do it just yet. It might be an option in the future. We'll see how it goes, but yeah. Um, so let me just turn this down. So with Edison, uh, we're working, we're just working on some skills, working on his aspiration. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm so at a loss with him. I don't really know what to do about a relationship, dating, I think just going on dates here and there and like trying to find someone that he really clicks with. Um, you guys also suggested that like the community makes sims for him um, based on his preferences, kind of like how I do it for my career legacy challenge. Um, that could be a cute idea too. So yeah, if you guys want to make me a sim. <laughs> for Edison, just uh, go ahead and upload it uh, with the hashtag SimsAveEdison, just so everything's in one spot. And um, I'll just like sporadically add some Sims into the save file. Um, even if Edison doesn't choose them, it'll give you guys a chance to like have your Sim like populate the world, and there'll be less people that are. Uh, potentially f related to the compost household. <laughs> so yeah, just use the hashtag SimsAveEdison. Um, I can go over what exactly he likes again. And a lot of you guys have been asking about my mods. This, the attractiveness thing is from Wonderful Whims. And then the all of like the pregnancy, um, abortion, all that kind of stuff is Woohoo Wellness. So he likes black hair, brown hair, and white hair. Um, hair length, he likes long hair. Hair type, he likes... He has two dislikes but no likes. He doesn't like straight or curly hair, so if you're gonna make a sim, I would make him with wavy hair. Um, eye color, he likes an unnatural eye, so like pink, purple, like just like kind of um, odd eye colors and then um, skin details he likes freckles and tattoos I don't think he likes piercings from what I remember correctly um, he likes big boobs and big butts <laughs> uh, he likes an average body weight and then body muscle like make them buff or average and then uh, outfits he likes the uh, hipster style so if you're gonna dress your sim make sure to use the hipster um filter when you dress them and then the he likes black clothes that's it oh he doesn't like yellow clothes <laughs> and then outfit details he likes hats glasses jewelry makeup um piercings he's like indifferent about so yeah if you guys need to just like jot that down real quick rewind the video however much you need to <laughs> yeah and then use the hashtag simsav edison all right so with his skills it looks like we are working on logic he's in a pretty good mood so why don't we like keep going with that that'll be another skill that we'll max and have under our belt and that will be his fourth skill that we're going to max and it looks like handiness will be next we could also do fitness because i think he's got some kind of like oh yeah physically gifted they build adult physical skills faster. So that's pretty cool. And then Evangeline, <laughs> one of you guys commented on the last video, like, been waiting for Sav to move out Evangeline for the past 10 episodes. <laughs> and I know, I want to move her out so bad, but at the same time, I'm like, so attached to her. 
Uh, I secretly don't want her to leave. And also there were a couple skills that I wanted to max before we moved her out. So it was video gaming and comedy. So I'm gonna focus on maxing that comedy skill right now so that we can get her out. Um, I am going to move her in with her new boyfriend. I think he lives in San Maishuno, so I'm just gonna move her into his apartment. And yeah, give her a residence key so she'll, you know, come visit and stuff. It doesn't help that she's feeling very sad. I think that the skill might go up a lot slower. Oh, there she goes, she's energized again. Okay, maybe we should like start a household gathering so that we get that skill boost. I am in the process of building a... Oh, while taking a break, Sarah spies some money just sitting on the sink in the bathroom. Uh, she would definitely save it. She would not turn it in. Um, Sarah gets caught with the money and sent to detention. That's on brand. <laughs> um, I'm in the process of building a... I don't even know what I would call it, but it's the... The Sims released like an official shell on the gallery. Oh, cool. Edison Max Logic. No, that was fast. <laughs> Um, they released an official shell on the gallery. It's called the Modern Madness shell. And I decided to make it a... I think I might make it a rental, to be honest. It is... Like... Italian villa themed, I guess. That's what I had in mind when I was building the outside. And then I moved on to the inside and I was like, I'm just stuck. You know what I mean? I'm stuck with decorating the inside. I was trying to work on it this morning and I was just like, oh my God, I am feeling so uninspired right now. Like I kind of want to redo the entire build, but I'm just so far in. <laughs> uh, I need to get some inspiration from somewhere. What do you guys do to get inspiration for builds? If you do that at all. I've been really enjoying building lately though. Like it has been, it's such a nice like winding down activity for me. Oh, there she goes. She did it. She maxed comedy. So I have no excuse to not move her out any longer. So yeah, she has maxed two skills, video gaming and comedy. Not bad. She maxed her career. Also not bad. All right, it looks like Sarah's back. She had a really shite day, it looks like. She's having a mood swing uh, because she lost her grandpa. So I think what we're gonna do is go travel to see our mom, kind of talk to her a little bit, see how she's feeling about the whole relationship thing because yeah, her and Edison are technically still in a relationship, so. Oh, also, I forgot that they have a new baby too. Oh my God, the baby is a child already crazy all right so hello how are you guys doing complain about parents no don't do that ask for advice let's say hi to gam gam console about death you know all that jazz <laughs> look at these ladies oh my god are you high <gasps> oh my god she totally smoked at school today Sarah joined in on smoking a joint with some friends after school. All right. Uh, hopefully they don't notice. Aww, this is sweet. Where's Teddy though? Is she even here? Oh yeah, she's over here in the cow plant garden. Um, okay. Well, I really want to meet our, uh, uh, let's see, this is, it would be, <laughs> if it's our grandma's, I guess it would be our aunt, right? Yeah, if it's our grandma's child. Are you an elder? You're not, you're not there yet. Okay. Hey mom. She seems fine. Um, let's just talk to her a little bit as well. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? You feeling okay? She's just tense. Nibna. Nibna. Floopy. Let's see. What can we do? Ask if Teddy wants grit. No. No. 
uh, we can't really talk to her about Edison at all. There isn't any, uh, you know, ask about woohoo. I think it's a little late for that, but we should do it anyways. Oh, ask about another sim. I would really like to ask about our dad, see what she says. She's like, so have you talked to dad yet? What are you gonna do? Thumbs up, huh? I like Edison, he's pretty cool. Oh, now she's be- now she insulted us. Are you insulting us because we're asking about our dad? Like, I kind of feel like- why would we apologize? I kind of feel convinced to install insect farm. Oh my god, what? Complain about everything? <laughs> oh, she nipped that in the bud. She said, nope. I am not the person that you are going to be complaining about life to. I mean, she's like, she's... I kind of feel like teenagers complain about a lot to their parents, and, uh, I don't know. That was an interesting way to, um, to respond. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna- Why are you guys bowing to each other? Whatever. You the why is she so mean? She doesn't have the mean trait, but she. Oh my god! Oh no. Wogra, Vimpa, Gil. Oh, shocker! Sarah and Teddy have a difficult family dynamic. Yeah, obviously. And she got a sentiment. Hurt. Sarah feels wrong by Teddy, and being around Teddy will remind Sarah of that pain. Oh my gosh. We came over here to, like, maybe help you? Because if you were feeling bad about Freddy... Oh, hi. Yes, Kaden. Hi, Kaden. Um, I guess we should probably introduce ourselves. All right. Well, we just kind of wanted to come over here and see, to see how it would go. Meet you, console everybody about the death, but Teddy seems fine. Teddy is chilling. She feels nothing, but there's his urn right there. All right, goodbye. That was a horrible visit. Now I remember why I never come here. <laughs> I really don't want to see Edison. Uh, I don't want him to see us like this because he just told us in the last episode, like, I better not catch you smoking again. Like, that was the last time. And he was like super understanding about it. Like, he yelled at us at first, but then he calmed down and he was like, look, you've been through a lot. I get it. But this is not going to fly. It's not going to fly. So just don't do it again. But she did it again. Autonomously too. So. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna head straight to bed so that he doesn't see us because we are so clearly stoned. I don't know if that was why our mom was yelling at us, but yeah, maybe we should like nap in the, yeah, nap in the tree house. It's right there and no one's gonna bother us in there. No one's probably gonna even know we're there, so. <laughs> and then once she's all rested, I don't know if I want to like go out and party with our friends or practice our horse riding. Um, probably practice our horse riding and then once the weekend hits we'll we'll hang out with our friends during the weekend all right so Evangeline it's time it is time uh, I'm honestly sad I love her um, but yeah she needs to like start living her own life now so I'm just gonna go to manage worlds and do it that way because sometimes like moving sims out through the phone is bugged and I need to make sure that Jamie is actually in San Shuno because I forgot and San Shuno like makes sense for her she's famous she is a comedian um, lots of clubs in San Shuno and all that jazz so yeah it's just the right spot for her I think oh I can't wait for them to have babies guys 
they better not like go off and marry other people because of neighborhood stories that honestly happens a lot there he is in the alto apartments i'm kind of scared i'm wondering if i should get them engaged first that doesn't always like prevent it but hmm i guess we'll see i guess we'll see what happens all right well everyone say goodbye to evangeline um i'm really gonna miss her but I think she'll be so much happier living with her boyfriend. Have a good life, my dear. I hope it all works out for the best and I hope that you're happy. You mm -hmm. poor guy. Let me, uh... Let me get you to call the sadness hotline. Just help you a little bit with that. I actually think he has a bunch of potions too that he can take to help with that. I honestly think even a moodlet solver would help. All right, look at that, all better. He is happy now. Uh, so why don't we uh, get you to go on a little jog here? We can also uh, think about what we want to do with Evangeline's guest house. It is a whole area that is unused at the moment. Right here. We can either make this Sarah's guest house or we can, oh, Caleb's here. But Ren is sleeping, she really needs to sleep. It might be kind of cool to make that Sarah's guest house so she has a place that she can hang out with her friends. Um, you know, and just like not be in the main house and stuff like that. Bro, that was the shortest jog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Maybe we should get you something else, like a workout machine or a uh, rock climbing wall or something. Yeah, like we can even like put gym equipment in here or... Ooh, a crystal. I'll take that. Or maybe we could just put a punching bag in his room. I think he's got a lot of space in here. I know it might look kind of weird, but it's definitely like a guy thing to do. <laughs> just have like a random piece of workout equipment in their room. We could get the training bot from Strangerville. This thing is kind of cool. Why is Vlad here? Wow, that hasn't happened in so long. I can't believe he's still alive in the save file. We've got negative emotions with him. Oh my god, what can Ren do with Vlad? Sign autograph? I wonder if he would take it. Oh, is he leaving? Oh no, he's in the house. He's in the house. He's impressed. With what? <gasps> Oh my god. Tony already remarried? Bro, Freddy just died. I'm shook. She moved on so fast. What the actual hell? She married someone named Imran Watson, and I was asking me what last name I want for them. I guess Watson. Holy crap. Aw, oh, Vlad liked the autograph. Wilson got married to someone named Ellie. Oh, he married a ward. That's cute. You guys remember the wards were like pretty prominent in this Let's Play? I think it was during Char Charlie's gen. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, I didn't even get to see him spar. Do it again. Nice, bro. <laughs> He's gonna be so good. Not him doing it in his burks. Sarah is still sleeping it off. Oh my god, what is this? Wow, when she wakes up, she's gonna vape immediately. In the treehouse. Alright, Sarah, let's get you up, because I don't want you to, like... <laughs> um, I don't want you to not go to sleep tonight. Oh man, let's check Social Bunny. See if anyone's posted anything romantic about us. Mari added us on Social Bunny. I don't think that we should add any family. Listen to these old folks telling us they couldn't get out of the pool without a ladder, hit the gym. Sarah has killer style, every day is such a look. Not our mom adding us too. No, Natalie said that as well. Your style is everything, teach me your ways. Kaylee, no, we don't even like you. Anyways, 
What are you gonna do with Ren? Ask for advice. All right, yeah. All right, Sarah, come on, let's go. Let's do something productive, my dear. Oh no, we got another death. Alonzo? I don't know who that is, just some rando. Oh, hey, Stella. How you doing? What are you gonna do? Oh, she's hungry, okay. Cool, getting some cold cuts. That's what's up. <laughs> Evangeline is here. She's gonna go ask your dad for advice. Eat the salad. Well, it's already 6 a.m., so I guess we're not gonna go to sleep, but it is Friday. And it's July 4th. Wait, do we even have school today? I can't remember if I have this uh, as day off of work in school. Yes, it is. Okay, so we don't even have to go to school today. Dope. Well, it looks like we can go to a park today and celebrate a little bit. It's raining, though. Maybe it'll clear up later. Will you eat your salad, my dear? Also, we should probably... What's wrong with the horsey? What's wrong? Low social. Okay. Uh, oh, another death. Mickey Fleming. Okay, jeez. Bunch of randos dying. Oh my god, no. I think that the horse keeps bucking us off because it's in a bad mood. Ask for cooperation during mounting. Let me put her horse riding fit on. All right. The horse just does not want to be ridden right now. She's being very, very difficult. <laughs> I'm having Ren harvest the crystals to see if we get any for our collection. Looks like they can be evolved? Nope, they're just glittery. Oh, we did get one. Let's freaking go! Oh, there we go. She did it. She's on. All right. Come on, let's go for a ride. I know it's raining, but it could be fun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's having a hard time. She needs to level up. How much is horse riding? Is it a 10? It is a 10. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's gonna take a while. She's happy! Aww. She likes riding a horse. This is good. Endurance level 2. I want her to keep riding until she levels up one more time. It's raining, so I don't know if July 4th activities are in the cards today. She can now go for an intense ride or choose to cancer here when riding a horse. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's go home. It's like thundering and lightning now. What a bummer. Sims will not be able to talk about riding with Pegasus. Blah. Oh, what's these? Uh, make a donation, sure. And Ren? Secret agent. No, thank you. Dude, another Edison for- another phone call for Edison? Okay, great. Fantastic. All right, she's exhausted. I'm gonna send her to bed again. All right, Edison. Well, how about we go on a date today and see what happens? It's Friday and I would like him to have a little bit of fun. Also, I was thinking if we keep going to that one restaurant with the experimental food, we could finish the experimental food collection. So we could like kill two birds with one stone. I think that would be fun. No freaking way. <laughs> Our blind date is with Lilith. Oh my God. Does Lilith even eat? <laughs> oh my God, what if he does like her? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Edison and Lilith. <laughs> I'm dying right now. I love Lilith. Lilith is one of my favorite townies ever. That would be so interesting. Cause like, forever ago, generations ago, Ren and Lilith and Caleb were super close. Like Lilith is basically her best friend, even though they haven't like hung out. And lately, I don't know, maybe Ren set it up. Let's go to this. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but it has a romantic aura. I hope they have experimental food there, because I really want to work on that collection. Okay, here we are. Nah. 
He's in his fancy suit. She's in his fancy dress. We did this makeover for Lilith like forever ago. Hello. Creative, active, and outgoing. Okay. Uh, well, let's scope and see what he thinks about her. She's got long black hair, so that's kind of what he likes. Uh, brown eyes. Let's see. Seriously. No, he doesn't think Lilith is attractive. Basic looking. Lilith. Basic. You, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. I mean, she's stat- whatever. You know what, Edison? I'm not even gonna- I'm not even gonna question you anymore. Is all the seating outside here? Okay, there's one table up here that is not, and it's pretty private, so... Alright. They do not have a Plasma Jane here for her. That's so lame. I'm just gonna get wine for both of them and then- Oh, they do have experimental food! Thank goodness. Uh, I can't remember what we got last time, but I'm pretty sure it was not this. So let's get that. And then for her fish trio, cause you can make fish in a plasma- I don't know guys. I'm just trying to <laughs> justify this. Oh my God, is Edison's birthday today? Are you for real right now? Oh my god, it is! Oh my goodness. A blind date on his birthday? Are you guys gonna talk? Whoa, wait, who's that? Huh? Um... I, this is the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if the gallery just like filtered her in or if she changed her hair back, but the fact that she is our waitress right now, I am tripping. Sir, aren't you married? Oh, okay, that's your wife. Cool. Everyone's freaking out because of the storm. You like Spirited Sims? Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> With Lilith, he's got amazing compatibility. I feel like Lilith is like the perfect sim for him. Long black hair. It's straight though. She's got, you know, the stuff. Uh, thank you. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take a picture. Okay, she's not pregnant. I think she's just throwing up because of the food. I'm not even gonna lie. She just threw up. What a date. What a freaking date. Alright, we got one for the collection. I feel so bad. I honestly feel terrible from taking her out to dinner. She's very uncomfortable. What have I done? Confess fear of vampires? Oh my god, imagine. All right, well, I got him a cake because I feel really bad. It's almost 2 a.m. and I really don't want him to like age up on his own. So let's just go ahead and make a wish and age him up. I know that he's not around his family right now, but I don't know. Oh my God, you guys, I just realized we can't see Lilith in this mirror. Dude. That is so funny! <gasps> I didn't realize you couldn't see vampires at- Guys, wow, that is crazy. I seriously discover something new about this yep, game yep. every time I play it. It's insane. Ah, well, Hapleborfna Edison. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I totally forgot. Ah. Like, I didn't even see it on the calendar because it's the same day as July 4th, but... Happy birthday. Uh. Come on, blow out the candles, guy. You're an adult now. Yes, you are. <laughs> 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 
Adulthood. Fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. Perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, I will be having a slice of that, no doubt. I love cheesecake, guys. It is. I, I, I literally never turn it down. Bro, I can't. I can't with these death calls. Melissa. Hold up. There was a lot of pop ups right there. Oh my god. Melissa died from anger. Melissa was one of Felix's kids. Wait. Oh my god, she had so many. Melissa had, looks like she had three kids, Marlene, uh, Gyro, and Ryder, and dogs, Gus, Indiana, and Chubbs, and Muffin. She passed away and they all went to the snow, oh, two of them went to the snow household and one of them went to the right household. The right household took all the dogs. Oh my god, that's so sad, guys. Ugh, that is freaking heartbreaking. They should have gone with one of her brothers. Ugh, all right, I'm gonna end this meal. Take this cheesecake with us. I mean, he has amazing compatibility with Lilith, but basic looking, ay ay ay. Food poisoning? Come on! Food poisoning on your birthday? Poor guy. Ugh, oh, what a day. Freaking food poisoning. I'm so sorry. I really am. What's Sarah doing? You're just vibing? You're exhausted, my girl. Why? Why don't you ever take care of yourself? Ugh, oh, all right. Oh, he threw up again right after he cleaned it. Oh my god, you poor thing. And he's squeamish too, so he's just, he's just not, not vibing with life right now. So, I say tomorrow we should go and hang out with Noah somewhere, get to know him a little bit. Um, we can also have a look at him in cast. Whoa, check this guy out. Oh, he was doing great a second ago. Look at him go! With the retro Sims music. I'm absolutely here for it. All right, it's Saturday, 10.30, Sarah's hungry. So let's go to like a cafe or something with Noah, have brunch and get to know him a little bit. So we've got the Eden Cafe and Bistro. Okay, so I want to bring Noah, Noah. I want to get to know him a little bit. It looks like we already have a full green bar with him actually, but you know, I just want to see how they get on. All right. I don't know why she's feeling embarrassed. She's embarrassed after being caught by her parents doing drugs. Okay. All right, Noah, let's see. Noah Laurent. Really hope you're not family. Y'all and him. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? You threw your vobe. Oh, quapo. Bippin' belief. Beam. Self-assured. Okay, he's a foodie and he's self-assured. Those are pretty good traits. Mmm, a cannoli sounds good. Let's do that. Thank you. Is that, are you famous? Oh, you're a B-lister? I mean, this guy's more famous. He's just gonna help himself to something in the refrigerator. What is it? Oh, some milk? Water? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, look, they're sitting together. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Um, discuss interests. Let's ask him about his hobbies. He likes fitness. Okay, oh, girl. No, not inside. Oh, she does not care. Holy crap. Wow, look at the way she's sitting too. I can't. She's so like cocky about it. She thinks she's so cool. <laughs> 
Oh my god, help me. Okay, you can stop now. Why is this proper celebrity showing us something on his phone? Oh, we know him a little bit. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, look at this downstairs bathroom. This is pretty cool. Look, there's a changing table in here. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Zig zig. <laughs> oh man. Oh yes. <laughs> Holy cannoli. <sighs> Imagine if you could film TikToks in The Sims. I wonder if they're gonna add that. Oh my gosh, she's still a little bit hungry too. All right. Is our date even here still? I don't see him anywhere. All right, well, let's go somewhere else and start a club gathering and get our friends there. Just hang out for the rest of the night. It is Saturday, so it is prom, but uh, I don't want to go to prom again. Hard pass. Let's go to this tiki bar. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice here. Okay, I'm gonna start a gathering as well. Uh, she got the people person lifestyle. That makes sense. Hi friends, how are you guys doing? What is this lullaby music that I hear? Oh, it's retro, okay. I don't think I've had her scope the surroundings with her friends around. Oh, I've never tried this like party time thing either. I forget what that does. Oh, it increased her energy a little bit and it made her energized. That's so funny. I had her scope the surroundings, and the only one of her friends that she thinks is cute is Dondre. He is the mean and high maintenance one. Oh! She loves to do this in public around people. Like, she was vaping at the last one, and now she's smoking a joint at the bar. Holy cannoli. Joke about cops? Oh my god, Tony's here. I wonder if she saw us. It's singles night, huh? Whip a yibs, whip a yibs. Oh boy. Who's this? Celebrity sighting? Alien deception? Feeling hurt by someone nearby? She's super happy right now. Wow. She's high and partying with her friends. She's just stoked. Ooh, hot tub time. Oh my god, help. Help. She's naked! <laughs> oh my god. Is anyone going to react? Oh, you did. Wow, everyone's not down. Oh, she's doing it too! <laughs> wow, sim laws don't exist apparently. Holy crap. That is so funny. Oh god, she passed out in the hot tub. Okay, well, uh, let's go home. Bye! Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Noah didn't even stick around. I think he might have went to prom. Because as soon as we got to the bar, he left. I really want to add him to our club, but we don't have enough points yet. All right, she's still pretty stoned. I'm going to get her to uh, sleep in the treehouse again. That's probably her, her move. Every time she gets home, she sleeps in the treehouse until she's sobered up. And then she'll make her way into the house. What's Edison doing? Oh, he got over his food poisoning. Good, good, good. I'm glad. Looks like he's off to go weed. Um, nah, let's work on your fitness a bit. And Ren is <laughs> sleep, not sleeping, uh, swimming in the pool that's not actually a pool. We really need to work on another skill for her, but I don't know what to do. Like, what skill haven't we done yet? I mean, I guess we could do Entrepreneur. That's only a five, and we're basically almost there. I kind of forget how to do it, though. I think if we, like, 
go on the commute computer and promote hmm maybe we can't do it yet because we don't have a streaming job Ooh, we can get on a celebrity guest list we should probably do that she's almost a five-star celebrity we could probably get her there how do you do the entrepreneur skill again like how does she even have that many skills already Build your entrepreneur skill by progressing your side hustles and excelling in odd jobs and freelance careers. Okay, got it. Now I'm exercising in a tuxedo. Ren is out partying with celebrities right now. Sarah's sleeping. Edison's working on his fitness. I'll be up in the gym just working on my fitness. He's my witness. You know? So, I think that we should have a look at Noah and Cass. I want to see who he lives with. And uh, I want to give him some, like, good outfits. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Lately, though, when I've been going in there through MC Command Center, it doesn't show me their family. It doesn't show me their traits or aspiration, which is kind of annoying. Shippu yeah, it did it again. I don't understand. I have cast full edit on all the time. So I don't know. All right, let's see. Yeah, he looks like a nice boy. Um, he's blonde? He has blonde eyebrows, so I guess. Just give him cicada. I really like cicada on male sims. It really like chisels out their face. He's got some cute little moles going on. Nice brown eyes. Oh, hold up. I was just randomizing hairs and this one. Oh, it's so cute on him. He's freaking adorable. He's a foodie and he's self-assured, so that doesn't really help me with like picking a style for him. This is cute. This is from For Rent. And then I also really like this from Growing Together. Should we give him cowboy boots as well? Hmm, interesting. I mean, not bad. Very simple, but not bad. All right, guys. A lot better than before. I like him. I like his outdoorsy style. It's quite cute. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for male CC, leave me a comment and let me know because I really need more. Um, I've been leaning more on the Maxis Match side, but I'm open to um, any really. So let me know because I'm I'm getting desperate. <laughs> like I'm good with hairs and stuff like that. Johnny Sims is like top tier for that. But I need clothes, like different styles, you know, because I feel like all of my clothes are the same. All right, Sarah, let's get you up. Let's get you to go to the bathroom and eat something. 4.45 a.m. Charlie really does not keep tabs on her like at all. <laughs> You guys were telling me of a way that I could uh, ground her, and that's by getting like the little curfew board and having her break curfew. Maybe we should. I don't know. All right, Edison is fitness level eight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Also, the horse needs some love too. It seems uh, like going on horse, uh, like going on rides with the horse, really helps their social and their fun. And we just gave it. Oh my god. This dog is actually crazy. Sleeping in trash, pooping on our sentimental moments. Like we just bathed Rocky and he's already filthy. Insane. Let's see what an intense ride looks like. Who rides their horse in their bathing suit? I guess it. Oh, good grief. Oh, looks like Rocky's coming along. <laughs> ha! Huh. Okay. She's getting the hang of it. She doesn't look as awkward. Oh my god, all those distressing concoctions. Endurance level four. Simba will now be able to ask about endurance training on Pegasus, and she will now become less fatigued when using horse barrels or jumps. Dope. Oh, Sarah likes horse riding. Thank goodness. Yes. Yes! Horse riding level 3. She can now direct horse to practice basic and advanced jumps by themselves at the horse jumps. At the horse barrels, Sarah may also now direct horse to practice barrels and race barrels by themselves. Why do I feel like I just read the same thing worded differently? 
Um, so direct course to practice barrels. I've never done this before. So, uh, ooh, what's this? Is that obsidian? Looks like we already had one. Oh, let's get Ren to harvest these crystals again too. It's air day, so we gotta do mischief, we gotta do gardening, exercising, and video gaming, and tell stories. So air day has to do with all of the past airs that we've had. So, uh, but we can only fit. Oh my god, Lilith's here. Hi. Ooh, parenting level five. Nice. Edison can now ground children who misbehave. For a softer approach, he can discuss the bad behavior and hug it out. He can also, he also has access to more ways to solve the kids' motives. Dope. Good job, Edison. Come say hello to Lilith. Far bohe. Foy be cabote. I think to end this episode, I'm going to officially end things with Teddy. She hasn't contacted us. She has, like, no desire to be a part of Sarah's life. Like, we went to go visit her and she was just mean the whole time. So I kind of think that we should just, like, I thought, I don't know, I thought maybe she would try and call us and smooth things over but she has put in absolutely no effort whatsoever i know it's kind of awkward that lilith is here and she just saw us out on a date with her but um maybe we could like meet her out front oh no she's running in she's running in she's a runner she's a track star okay let's see wow the only thing that we can do is separate permanently amicable or separate permanently angry I honestly think that Edison would be, um, you know, he would try to be calm about it and try and be nice so that they could co-parent. But it looks like, I've never done this before, but it looks like we can choose an option why we're separating permanently, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the love is dead. Edison feels the love is simply dead. Time to mourn it. Loving another. Another is taking all of Edison's heart. Can't provide investment. Edison just can't be bothered with this relationship anymore. No time um, or will to invest himself in this. Life crisis. Edison is done with his current unsatisfactory life and needs a change. Um, ghost of a partner. Edison's partner is too distant. Edison is ready for a real relationship with someone more attentive and loving. A lot of these, like, are are right like there's the cheater one a woohoo life wear uh, a mistake or different gender orientation hmm honestly i'm either i'm leaning towards can't provide investment or ghost of a partner edison just can't be bothered with this relationship anymore i mean yeah i think that's probably the best one who's calling sarah do you want to hang out tonight? Damn, no, sorry, hold on, I need to use something first. Oh, are you gonna do it in front of Sarah? Okay, good, she's leaving. She's going to bed. She's like, oh, mom's here? I'm out, I'm going to my room. Wait, where are you going? I'm trying to talk to you here. Also, like, why is she angry? Oh, here we go. I think it's time, I'm sorry. It's been, it's been for, it's been months. Sorry. I waited for you to try and put some effort in and you didn't. It's been doomed ever since you cheated on me with my best friend slash cousin. <laughs> and we should decide custody of Sarah as well. Obviously, she's gonna live with me. She has been. She wants to be here. She doesn't want to be with you. <laughs> Teddy agreed. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. What if she disagreed? 
Uh, of course, there is something sad about deciding to separate permanently, having traveled a road that we hope to never leave, only to take the exit now. But Edison and his partner agree that it is the best thing to do, and that what separates them does not ne um, negate everything that they enjoyed or that brought them together in the past. They'll stay in good terms. Breakup blues and can't provide investment. Edison just can't be bothered with the relationship anymore. <laughs> Lil Lilith was like, yeah, I should probably go. This is a bad time. All right, let's see. What do we have? Okay. They don't have any negative romance anymore. Um, broken up. Just good friends. But they have a hurt. Teddy has a hurt sentiment about Edison. Oh, man. Well, that's done. I feel like we got a lot of stuff done today. We finally moved Evangeline out, which I have been waiting to do. We broke up with Teddy. We kind of got a glimpse into Sarah and Teddy's... Uh, oh my gosh, she's doing her homework. Into Sarah and Teddy's relationship. They have the difficult family dynamic now, because you guys saw. Um, yeah. But please let me know what you guys think about Noah. Let me know if we should just uh, keep looking or if we should date him and be the like have him be the person that we break up with because we do need to break up with someone. Oh no. Hey mom. How are you doing? She's very angry. I have a feeling she's going to take it out on us. Washa Zabris. Baribi Damse. Jalurba Rinka. Wabarani. Squamish Pelka. I feel like she resents her. I feel like she regrets having her. And you can just see it. Feeling very sad about being near her right now. She's gonna give herself a pep talk right in front of her. Garnouche, Haspa, Monzo, Rivuda, Nibnub, Spino, Kimba! They look so much alike, it's crazy. Okay, she's out. Goodbye. All right, gang. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me look at the calendar really quick to see what we got coming up. Okay, so we've got Halloween in a couple days. Harvest Fest. Um, Sarah's birthday is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days. So we have 13 sim days to complete her aspiration. So, yeah. As fast as time moves in this, we need to, like, start dating someone. Even though I don't really want to, but we have to break up with them. <laughs> We're only getting a relationship to break up with them. That's so messed up. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys very soon in another video. All right, I love you. Bye.